Good morning. You ready to take your test? Step up on the treadmill, please. First foot. Good. Now, we're going to start out very slowly. Ready? And start. Good. That's not so hard, is it? Very good. How about a little faster? Good work. Don't be deceived by the youthful appearance of our subject, Darius Stevens. He abused his body for 79 years. Now he's walking on his own bought and paid for two feet, down a path he hopes will lead him into a new life. This is sick. The man is 79 years old, for God's sake. And there's no reason why he can't live for another 79. With an artificial brain? You've turned him into a robot. What does that prove? No, no. He's not a robot by any means. He's human. It's incredible. Back in the 80s and early 90s, this would have been impossible. But now, with ultra-miniaturization, the sky's the limit. Well, it seems to me the limit is good sense, and you've overstepped it by a long shot. Michael, please. No, I mean it. I mean, this, this experimenting with people's heads, it's outrageous. Come on, ad admit it, Wilson. You've never done this operation before on a human. I mean, what might work for a monkey won't necessarily work on a man, even my father. It's true. Your father was the first human to receive a total brain implant. However, if things go as expected with the last neurological tests, he'll be ready to lead a normal life within days. Normal? Essentially, this is Darius Stevens. We reduced all the memories, all the facts, all the powers of reason, even the feelings that comprise what we knew as Darius Stevens into this micro disc. My husband has one of those in his head. No, this was just an interim step. We had to digitalize the data. Then, Sorry, I can't explain this without getting technical. He thinks, therefore he is. Oh, how philosophical of you, Doctor. But let me address another question. As I understand it, my father is just about now 60% machine by weight. Does that sound very human to you? Or maybe I'm asking the wrong person. You're a mechanic. You're a man of medicine. I don't think we need to discuss this any further. Thank you for everything, Doctor. We're not out of the woods yet, Anita. Darius was a very active man. It'll be your job to see he doesn't overdo it. I will. See you later. So, when is the Tin Man getting back from physical therapy? Michael, I've had just about enough of your cynical attitude. Sounds to me like you'd rather have him dead. Oh, really? It wouldn't have anything to do with you wanting to take over his company, would it? The fact is, the man is brain dead. And at the very least, he is not competent enough to manage his own affairs. The man is your father. No, he was my father. But this bunch of circuits and tubes and wires and, and pumps are nothing. You get this straight, Michael. As long as I am in control of his medical care, I don't want you or anyone else interfering. You don't say so. Mm. Let me tell you something, Anita. He was my father for 50 years. He was your husband for six. You tell me whether I can interfere or not. The man is dead. I accept it. Why can't you? I look pretty good for a dead man, wouldn't you say? Michael. You look wonderful, darling. Thank you. I feel terrific. What are you staring at? You look like you've seen a ghost. Oh, Michael has his opinions as to whether or not you're actually here. Maybe you're expecting the Frankenstein monster. Hey, Wilson is a Harvard man, but he's not that bad. Hey, come on now. Don't ever forget I'm still your father, right? And you're my son. Well, I've got to be going. Stevens Incorporated can't run itself. Don't worry, Michael. I'll be back tomorrow. Call the war.
Orleans about that Jensen order. Don't forget to tell Harris about the sales meeting in Phoenix. And have Stein drop some projections on the Western region. I want them on my desk by the end of the day. You got that? Yes, sir. Susie, would you come in here, please? I hope you took your vitamins. You're going to need them just to keep up. Okay, Susie, there's a couple of things I want you to do for me today. Knock, knock. Anita. Or we'll talk after lunch, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were so busy. No problem. Mm -hmm. Just give me a second. Oh, now you've got to learn to slow down, darling. Dr. Wilson said you should ease into it. Yeah, Dr. Wilson. Well, this is business, and if you snooze, you lose. Great. Okay. Where would you like to have lunch? Well, uh... Excuse me. I hope I'm interrupting. Michael. Larry, nice to see you. You know my wife, Anita? So what can I do for you gentlemen today? I'm here to enact the company's succession plan. What are you talking about? You can't do that unless I'm dead or sick. Now, do I look sick to you, son? <laughs> Doesn't matter how you look. See, that computer looks fine. But it's neither alive or dead. It's a machine like you. I'm taking over. Like hell you are. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm more alive than I ever was. Is that why you're here, Larry? Would you smell a little blood in the water? Insulting my attorney won't do you any good. He's here for a purpose. Do it. Are you Darius Stevens? Now, that's kind of a ridiculous question, even from you, Larry. Hey, what's this? It's a summons to appear in court. You left me no choice. What are you trying to prove, Michael? What am I trying to prove? That Darius Stevens is dead. This is all new territory for the law, Darius. There must have been cases before this. Some precedent must have been set by now. The rights of patients who've been kept alive on machines have been established over and over and over, but there has never been a test case involving a human being who is more than 50% machine. Well, what does having a few artificial organs and joints have to do with it? I don't understand. Well, that's not exactly the point. Nobody begrudges you an artificial heart or liver or kidneys. What's at issue is your brain, and that's a very gray area. Pardon the pun. That is ridiculous. You wouldn't say that someone with a with an artificial leg, wasn't human. But your leg doesn't do your thinking for you. As far as the law is concerned, when your brain is dead, you're dead. But I am not dead. And with this brain, I can do the work of three men. Being superhuman may, in fact, work against you. But I'm everything I ever was, only better. Everything I felt and thought with, with my biological brain, I still think and feel. And what makes me most human what makes any of us human at all is that, is that drive to live. And I have it. I have it inside of me. Obviously. But what we're talking about is a power grab. And you are up against your son. And he has a lot of cards in his hands. Damn it! This is my company. I fought to make it what it is, and I'm going to keep it. Keep it. I'll do what I can. I've already got my staff working on it. Just relax. Just relax? My own son, son, is contending that I'm dead. We know better, don't we? Well, I'm not gonna sit on my hands, Dave. I'm gonna do a search, a search for any legal precedent that is vaguely related to this, I can do it faster than your staff. Your staff. Fine. Come on, come on. I can I can do this ten times as fast as fast. I am processing the data within normal specifications. Well, increase your spec specifications. What did I do with that readout? I can't believe. 
believe it. Oh, hi. Don't oh, hi me. The doctor said you should take it easy. Well, in addition to my legal problems, I have a business to run and a wife to support. I, mean, I, I wouldn't be much good to you if I was broke, broke. Well, you won't be much good to me if you're dead, dead either. Honey, I'm really up against it now, now. I know. I can't believe Michael would do this. Well, we, we have to believe it. The hearings start in a week. I'm going to need your help, help and understanding. I'll be pulling some long hours to get ready, ready, ready for this. Are you OK, darling? Yes, I'm all right. Why? It's the way you're talking. You're repeating words. I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize it. I, I'm probably just tired. Why don't we just turn our backs and walk away? I, I can't do it. It's the, it's the principle, principle of it. Well, you can count on me to help you in any way I can. Oh, no, thanks. I gotta go home. I've seen so little of my family in the last couple of weeks, my wife thinks I have a woman on the side. Darling, can I fix you anything? No. I, I was hoping we could go over, go over the sub Supreme Court opinions. There's one in particular Give that I Give me a break. Think... We're doing fine. Okay. Where do, we, where do we go from here? Day after tomorrow, we'll present our concluding arguments, and then it's out of our hands. But tonight, I'm gonna go home and get some rest. I think you ought to, too. You sound exhausted. I know I am. Good night. Good night, Dave. You didn't even say goodbye to Dave. I'm going over these opinions. I'm a little bit preoccupied right now. Why don't you go home? Darius Stevens, don't you dare try to dismiss me like that. Look, I'll read these. And you read those. I'm glad you're not doing not doing research for the other side. Darling, darling, wake up. It's time to go, go, go home and go to bed, bed. What? I'll come back tomorrow and finish my reading, my reading. <sighs> Don't you ever let up? You know, they, what they say, the early bird catches, bird catches. The worm. I guess, guess, guess I'm just ti 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 tired, tired. I think you... Bad sector. Invalid file name. I think, I think you better call the doctor. 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 Retry, retry bad entry. Invalid error. Invalid error. Retry, retry. Bad sector. What are you doing here? 
Just came to see for myself. My, how the mighty have fallen. I hope you're happy, Michael. Me? You did this. You and your power-grabbing attorneys. You calm down and don't take it so personally. To you, this is just business. But you're going to have to live the rest of your life with the knowledge of what you did to your own father. I didn't do this. He did it all by himself. I think I have a right to be here, and I'd like to... Outside, now. Sorry, we lost him. I want to be with him. Of course. Go ahead. So what finally killed the Superman? Can't explain it for sure. His CPU shut down completely. What do you suppose caused that? Whether it's overload or fatigue, Sure. Maybe we'll know more after the post-mortem. Well, Doctor, I have just one more question. Yes, Michael. This time he really is dead. Thank you. I'll make the arrangements. Anita. Darius. Are you alone? Yes. Well, obviously things didn't work out like I planned them. But I thought you were... Dead? Oh, no. There's still some kick left in this old man yet. Damn Wilson and his prototype anyway. I knew a Harvard man couldn't pull it off. Darius, it really is you. You're darn right. But you're going to have to be in my arms and legs now. We have a real fight ahead of us, Anita. Fight? Oh, you didn't think I was going to take this lying down, did you? But are you really alive? Well, that's what we're going to have to prove, is it? Now, first, I want you to fill me in on everything that's happened the last few days. Then I want you to go down to the Hall of Records and bring all that information to Dave so he can compare that data with the data recorded at the hospital. Then you'll have to bring Wilson into it because he signed my death certificate. Darius Stevens, the product of a new generation of medical miracles. They began with false teeth, expanded into prosthetic limbs, and reached near godhood in plastic surgery and mechanical hearts. As we continue to second guess and improve upon nature, we are reminded that there is more to being alive than mere flesh and blood in the Twilight Zone. next man this happens to. 